More on Sandy's impact on Rhode Island. Now a full day into power outages statewide. A big concern is food poisoning. With hundreds of grocery stores and restaurants still without electricity, health inspectors are out in full force, making sure they're doing the right thing when it comes to keeping food safe. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom in Newport with what's being done. Well, right along here in Bowen's Wharf in Newport, they are good news and bad news. They didn't lose power for the most part, but they did have a lot of flood water, contaminated flood water that came into their restaurants, in some cases up to four feet of water. So health inspectors are out here making sure that they're cleaning it properly to make sure that when you eat here, you're safe. Sanitizing companies working overtime. Restaurant employees working fast and furious. Right now there are nine people out. And nine health inspectors making sure the food establishments don't open up and serve up food that may have gone bad or been contaminated. Some supermarkets are open and they've got generators and you find the generators will run the lights and they'll run the cash registers. And they may not have the generators to run the refrigeration. This Newport restaurant got the clean bill of health to open for business from a health inspector this morning. We do feel very lucky. Uh, uh, good for us and I'm sure everyone else will be up in no time. Health inspectors aren't just checking out the food. They're also making sure that the restaurants that need the sanitizing equipment to clean the floors, they're also cleaning anything that food comes in contact with, like pots and pans, to make sure that they're completely decontaminated. Flood water should be considered contaminated with sewage. So if something's been flooded, uh, you don't want to be using those food products. The health department says it's working with National Grid right now to locate grocery stores and restaurants that may be without power. Inspectors need to make sure those food establishments throw out contaminated food. The power's been out for over 24 hours in a lot of places, and most refrigeration's not going to hold foods at safe temperatures for that long. So that's what we're checking right now. With only nine health inspectors trying to inspect all of these restaurants and markets right now, it's nearly impossible for them to hit every single one of them. So bottom line, they're also looking at your help. If you go into a restaurant and notice something doesn't look quite right or smell quite right or a market, you're to call the health department immediately and they'll send someone right down. Reporting from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.